Okay, so this problem um, is about portions web. So I think that uh, the biggest issue is what is a portion web? So the portion web is up here on the right, and it's just a way of keeping organized. We can represent portions, so some amount out of a total uh, as a fraction, decimal, percent, with words, with pictures, a bunch of ways to describe some amount out of the whole. Uh, we talked about having eating a portion of your meal. So if you had a portion of your meal, let's just say half, right? So that could be the fraction representation of that portion. Uh, 0.5 would be the decimal. You would say it as five-tenths, right? You could say that as words. You could draw a picture of it. Percent, that'd be 50%. So portion web is just a way to stay organized. So they gave us all these portions, so one-fourth, 19 25ths, three-halves, and three-eighths. I just want to do a couple of them. Um, when given a fraction, you can either turn it into a percent at first, or you can turn it into a decimal. Um, if I can easily uh, figure out, well, what is one-fourth? written out of um, 100, right? Can, if I can use the giant one to, to make that happen, I'll turn it into a percent first. And in this case, I can. Um, I know that four quarters make a dollar, so four times 25 is 100. If I multiply the denominator by 25, I need to make them multiply the numerator by 25 to keep them equivalent fractions. So uh, one times 25 is 25 hundredths. 25 hundredths. That's how I'm going to write it as a decimal, 25 hundredths. Um, but we'll get to that in a minute. That's the words on the decimal. So percents are out of 100. I know that uh, 25 out of 100 would be 25 percent. As a decimal, the hundredths place is the ones place, tenths place, hundredths place. 25 hundredths would be written like that. You can also move the decimal place twice to turn a percent into a turn a decimal into a percent, so you can move it two places to the right. Um, here you can pretend the decimal point is right there and move it two places to the left to turn it into a decimal. So in words you would write 25 hundredths or one fourth. Um, if I can't easily uh, figure out, well, 25 times what is 100, which I think we can here, it'd be times four. Right, if we can't easily think that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn it into a decimal through division. That's how I do it. I would turn it into a decimal using division. So the way to do that is just to take 19 divided by 25, take the numerator, and divide it by the denominator. So take 19, let's get a different color. Let's do blue. Let's do 19 divided by 25. Uh, well, 19 um, doesn't go into 25 evenly, so we're, we're going to add a decimal at zero times. And let's just make this 190 now. That's 190 tenths. So I know 25 goes into 100 four times. Um, and this is really close to 200, so that would be um, 8 if it was 200. Uh, would be um, 8 25s. So let's do 7. Let's try 7. And 7 times 25 would be 175. Subtracting, and we get 15. And let's add another zero. We still have a remainder, so let's add a zero. And how many 25s there in 150? So four of them in 100. So two more would make six. Two more is uh, 150. So that's 150. Subtract, and no remainder. That's our decimal right there. That, that doing 19 divided by 25 gets us our decimal of 76. And how you would say that is 76 hundredths. So this is equal to 76 hundredths, which is the, the percent, 76 out of 100, 76 out of 100. So I'm gonna leave the other two for you to do. Um, hope you enjoy, have fun, catch you around if I can figure out how to pause or turn off this video. It's kind of, hmm.